Hello, I'm Jason Rohde, and this is a brief tour of my Blackboard Exemplary course, ETT 570, Instructional Technology Leadership. Here I am logged into the course in student preview mode, and I just want to highlight a few quick highlights for you of um, how I built this course in Blackboard Ultra Course View. You can see this is a, a course that does leverage the affordances of Blackboard Ultra. Um, things such as a course banner is provided at the top. Um, and the way I structure my course, I start with a module that I call Welcome Start Here. This is the very beginning for my students. I even put click to open so that if they're not familiar with Ultra, they know that they can actually click on this module to open it. And here I have some important uh, starting information for my students, all packaged in one uh, easy to find location. So I have a, a let's get starting page, for example, where I, I provide for them the very highest level of information that they need. When are we meeting? Uh, my contact information is there. The course description overview, uh, learning outcomes, um, and so forth is available here for my students. This next item, I have a, a welcome uh, video for my students that I actually I send to them in advance of, of the course starting. I make that available here. Um, notice that I've, I'm including the descriptions within each of these items to give the students a, an extra little prompt about what they can expect to find um, in that particular item. Then I use a, a folder within my module for my syllabus and course information. And here's where I include for my students not only the downloadable version of the syllabus, um, but also a course quick guide. Um, so I give them the activities and for the course in a single uh, kind of one-page printable view. Um, also information on other aspects of, of course policies. Um, there's a course tour that I provide. I record and, and put that link right here. The students can view that. I have a getting started survey that I have the students complete um, as they're just getting started in the course to share with me some additional information about themselves, um, their goals for the course, um, their, their preferred pronouns, and so forth. Um, I also give them a prompt to add a photo to their Blackboard profile. I ask them to, to do that and I give them a, a quick video here in a form of an ultra document as to how to do that. So um, that's all within this um, syllabus and course information um, area within Welcome Start here. I, I use this as a module so that it's always available. The students can always get back to it, but they can collapse it um, so that it's not getting in the way. It's not causing excessive scrolling as they proceed through the course. I use a, a document that I call Your Instructor here within Ultra. And this is where I provide information for my students about myself. I try to introduce myself to my students. So I use a mix of um, imagery. Um, I have links to, again, uh, my various um, social media presences. Um, I have a, a Meet the Instructor video that I provide where I just share a little bit more about my background and interest in the course. And then they can also access, for example, my professional background and even learn a little bit about my family. So just trying to start to develop that sense of presence uh, in, my, uh, in my course. Uh, for my discussion, I'm actually using Yellow Dig for the discussion in this course. Uh, if you're not familiar with Yellow Dig, it's a phenomenal tool for um, creating really a, a robust discussion within, um, within an online course. And so if you're interested in more information, just search Yellow Dig. Um, or reach out and I'd be happy to, to provide more details there. Something else that I do is I provide in this course, um, I had, uh, there's a final project that this course culminates in and, and really many of the activities lead up to that project and feed into that. And so I provide a folder at, at this high level where I provide them samples up front. So they can start to see um, you know, what, um, what form of that final project, what that will end up looking like. Um, then just finally, uh, my module structure. Here you can see how I go about um, structuring my learning modules in my course. I use for a title the module number and then the date. I put that in there because uh, when I size down the screen and you look at the course within a from a mobile optimized size, um, it truncates well and, and really formats well on mobile devices. I use the description in the module to list whatever topics we're covering. So then within that module, each module has a consistent structure consisting of a welcome video from me to that module, um, a document that has overview and objectives. I then have a, a folder for readings and resources, and I put anything that the students are reading or going to be accessing uh, within that folder. And where possible, I include descriptions for those items. And then an activities and assignments folder, and that folder has then um, 
the uh, activities that the students are completing. This is where they'll access those. I follow that same structure for each of my modules. You can see module two has that same um, structure um, and I, I follow that throughout. So that's a quick high level view of uh, my exemplary course uh, in Blackboard Ultra Course View. If you have more questions or if you'd like to take a closer look or um, just chat further, feel free to reach out. I've included my email address here on the screen uh, and I'd be happy to follow up with you. Thanks so much for watching.